academic vibes and jobs that emanated from the stables of Pleasant's band bore its reflection in the energetic dances that encapsulated the expanded old of 10 degrees event center or Regun Lagos, venue of the wedding reception of Teniola Ayeni Aguru and Oluwa Sheifumi Taiwo Kolawole on the 15th February 2020. Having concluded the traditional rites on the day before, February 14, the duo proceeded in their marital celebrations in the early hours of the day for the holy solemnization. majestic arrivals of well-dressed guests and the delectable influx of sleek automobiles into the premises of Foursquare Gospel Church at Lakpare District Headquarters at Boiketu, Lagos, synced with a tapestry of thrills that trailed the wedding. The venue rumbled with praise songs that caught the congregation on their dancing feet. The arrival of the little bride and coffee ladies preceded that of the beautiful and caramel looking bride who marched in hand in hand with her father and into the tuneful vibes from tea sacks. hymns fill the mouth of everyone as they sang along with the choristers to begin the sacred formalities of the union. The presiding pastor, Reverend Jibola Jolao Sho, led the couple to the altar of wedlock with declarations of vows and joining as husband and wife. They were then prayed for by the group of ministers. And to this fellowship, for the first time, the newest couple. This was followed with special rendition by the choristers. Dr. Emmanuel Adejoro summonized the couple on the need to build their home on Christ. For Teddy and she made your home and your home ready to apologize. Even when you are wrong, I was telling somebody, even when you are right, sorry, I was telling somebody, but I was talking, I said in the home, one was the goat and one was the sheep. Even to all that are men of God. There are times, as a, as a man, you must be sheep. Why the woman is behaving like goat? Because if both behave like goat, things will scatter. <laughs> but as a sheep, you keep calm. So at any point, either man or the woman must behave either as a sheep or as a goat. It's a covenant. Marriage is not a contract that if it works, I go. If it doesn't work, I back out. Now lie. They signed the marriage register. Then the couple and their parents danced forward as everyone joined them in Thanksgiving. <laughs> The final phase of the conjugal fiesta was at 10 degrees event center Billingsway or Regun Lagos, where guests converged for the exquisite reception. <laughs> The 
fashion was impeccable, reek of elegance and brilliance. The lit chandeliers that adorned the ceiling illuminated the impressive venue that shimmered with bouquet of flowers. <laughs> by MC Demola Ice, the reception kicked off with the arrival of bright spirits, Mr. and Mrs. Ayeniago. Then, the groom's family, the Kola Wallets, made their entry. The entry of the latest couple was grand, preceded by the bridal tree, who swept into the blast of the DJ mixes. The dance competitions and other interesting games between the bride's team and that of the groom further enliven the atmosphere. <laughs> dance. It was followed by the bride and her father who jigged excitedly on the dance floor. Celebrations continued. Guests relished the surplus availability of foods and drinks. <music> Coordinated by the wife of Ekiti State Governor, Erelu Bisi Adela Yefayemi, the couple cut their cake. What we can do for you to wish you all the best, to celebrate with you, to pay body with you and all that, but as you go away on your own this evening, know that you go with God as well. So as you place your hands on this lovely cake, I hope you're noticing how beautiful it is. The design is very intricate, it's exquisite, it's taking a lot of detail and attention to get this cake to look the way it is. By the special grace of God, so shall your 
married be with the right amount of patience and dedication and attention, all things to be possible. Local delivery of the Ekiti State Cultural Troop further raised the bar of frenzies in the hall as the groom's father, Mr. Onladapo Kolawale, stepped up to the traditional beats. <laughs> It was time to party as Pleasant Band released doses of danceable songs to the pleasure of all. One after the other, the couple and their parents came upstairs to dance non-stop as their guests rallied around them. Indeed, it was one wedding that shook the society with color. The groom's father, Mr. Dakwa Kolawale, is a former commissioner for finance in Nikitu State and the director of finance, Federal Road Maintenance Agency, FEMA. This therefore accounted for the presence of top government functionaries, royal fathers, politicians and societal bigwigs who have come to support him and his wife, Dr. Nike Kolawole, have their son's wedding. The couple's parents and some of the guests spoke with Red Carpet TV. I'm happy today because we are celebrating her. I'm very happy. I, I give thanks to God. I have no I have no idea. We should hold on to God. With God, all things are possible. I want them to be men of integrity. I want them to be men. I want them to have the fear of God. Deliver and save I want them to be, they are very hardworking. I want them to continue to hold up and God on their side. They will sustain the life. I feel so great to the glory of God. We talked today. The pastor gave us the summary of everything. He gave us an acronym. And the acronym was cake. He said C. When we talk of C. Talking about care, caring for one another. I advise them to care for each other. A stands for adaptation. I advise them to get used to each other. They should adapt to the married life. They are from different backgrounds. And they have a bit of difference. But by the time they try to adapt, they have no problem. Too picky 
you shouldn't be too nosy. You shouldn't try to know it all. And above all, you should love her husband. I'm not saying you need to I'm not going to my back. I'm not she should make Christ the cornerstone of her home. To respect her husband and humble herself and be caring, loving. You know, the issues will happen, but forgiveness is the key. And you have to express yourself. I expect her to be an intelligent, caring, loving, diligent wife. I'm making Christ the cornerstone of her home. Praying for her husband continuously, and the husband will be successful and she will be successful. The other for Sheyi that uh, Sheyi should be tolerant, should be patient, and she also love his wife very, very well and very, very deeply. And uh, I want the two of them to understand each other and to have tolerance with each other and to as well be advisors to each other. They should care for each other and they should concern about each other. And that is what I will tell them today. And I know that the future is very bright for them. Uh, my friends' children, and Please I know that God Almighty will bless them, you know, if you that like to be a beautiful one, it will be a beautiful one, one to do and a fruitful right. one. I believe that they should be more the centerpiece of their marriage. They should never allow a third party to interfere in any of their affairs. And I pray that they will be granted um, good health and many, many good years ahead. I wish them all the very best. I wish them God's guidance. I just advise them to be, to be prayerful and to be sincere with one another. Then they should be friends. That's the, that's the, that's the crux of marriage. When two people meet and they are friends, then when they become husband and wife, that friendship will forsake the union. From the Red Carpet TV crew, we wish the couple a fruitful marital life. <laughs> Thank you for watching Red Carpet TV Nigeria. Don't forget to click on the subscribe button to subscribe to our channel.